questions. Ahmed Rashid, I want to move this in a different direction. Your opponents have made the point repeatedly, particularly in their opening statements, that the drones have killed a lot of guys that they were supposed to kill, that they have decimated al-Qaeda, and that al-Qaeda is on the way to becoming a footnote in history because of it, which was the whole purpose. These are the guys who blew up buildings in this city. Um, do you dispute their effectiveness in, 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 on that agenda? No, I don't dispute their effect, uh, effectiveness. Obviously, this is a military weapon that has been developed to do a certain thing, and it, it, it's, it's going to be further developed. It's going to be used even more. Um, I, th I think the, the point is that it is, it, is being, it is being used very indiscriminately and without any kind of um, scrutiny or um, um, self-knowledge, even amongst Americans. Um, at the whole issue of, of legality, the whole issue of the precedent that it sets for other countries to follow. There are a whole range of, of political issues and political answers that are needed in order for this weapon to be really legal, be legitimate, and be justified. And that is the point. I don't dispute at all that certainly many senior members of Al-Qaeda have been killed. But this is a weapon that has opened up a Pandora's box of questions, especially for those countries who are in receipt of this weapon, you know, at the receiving end. And, and I think we need, you know, we need answers. I think this question of precedent is absolutely paramount at the moment with what, right. you know, well, if Mr. Syria is using... Rashid, Let's that, take it to Dennis Blair. Just because you've discovered the drones doesn't mean that this is the first time that anybody has ever thought about these questions. This is a weapon system which combines the capabilities of surveillance and, and attack, and it is operated according to the, the rules of law, the control procedures, the follow-up procedures that the U.S. Armed Forces use for all of the weapon systems that we have over the years. We know how to take new weapon systems, use them for mission purposes, control them so that they're done legally with lawyers in the command loop to a much greater extent than they are for most any other other weapons, and you use them for your purpose, and you try to minimize the, the uh, harmful side effects, of which there are many, as there are for any, any weapon system, in order to get the mission done. I'm going to and let the side that's how we do it.